Okay, guys, I'm back from New York Comic Con and uh, came back with some stuff. Not a not a whole lot. Um, overall, uh, good show, better than uh, what I thought it was going to be without any of the big companies being there. Didn't really, uh, you've seen, if you've watched the video, you've seen the footage and, and some of the stills um, from the trip. Um, it, it it was it was much better than expected. It was a very good day. Uh, a lot of fun was had. Did a couple of things that we normally don't do. Um, got in line for uh, some stuff. Uh, ended up with some uh, free stuff because uh, I don't really collect Funkos anymore. But uh, unless it's the Dungeons and Dragons stuff that's coming out now. But, uh, got mine, and we got free Funko, so, I mean, it's kind of hard to complain when people are giving you free things, you know? But, it was, uh, nice and easy to get around, you saw the entire show floor a couple of times, you know, it didn't take you an hour to walk from one end to another, so that was nice. Um, there was still congested parts, I'm not gonna say there wasn't, somehow, <clears throat> Even with the big companies missing and uh, the widened aisles, there was there was still some congestion. So it it, it was nice though. It, it was a good day. I uh, got to look at some comics. I'll show you those in a minute. Go over some uh, other stuff real quick. I, I uh, Artist Alley is generally the reason that we go. Um, so I had seen Chrissy Zulo was gonna be there. I don't know if you've never seen her art. This is uh, some of her art. Um, there's how you spell her name. I bought the sketchbook. She uh, autographed it for me. Talked to her for a couple minutes. She was a little bit busy, so I didn't get a whole lot of time to uh, speak to her. Um, but you can follow her at Chrissy Zulo on uh, Instagram. Um, again, just put that all together as one word, and you can go check out. She's got a lot of nice uh, nice artwork, kind of cartoony. Um, this one here, I'm going to give you a little shaky cam for a second. Um, you know, the Mother of Dragons, that's, that's, that's just awesome. So she also put her card in. There's all her information. Very nice, very pleasant. Um, generally, the artists, most artists... I've met some that haven't been super appreciative, but she was, uh, she was great, liked her a lot, um, and I don't know if it's her boyfriend or husband, business partner, whatever, but Chris Uminga was there, and, uh, if I see Boba Fett original art, I'm gonna buy Boba Fett original art, you know, if you followed us for any time, you know, Fett's my man. So, uh, he also had a Mandalorian. These, the little piece was 75, but it's fully colored. It's original. Um, and again, another very nice, uh, gentleman. Uh, he's Ominga. I probably should have looked up, um, how to spell that before I started the video, but I did not. It's the day after Comic-Con. I'm sore and tired. We did a lot of walking. It's a downstate trip for uh, me and my brother and, uh. A friend of ours so uh that i'm even awake and doing this is amazing so then that was that was later in the day i don't know all well, when i did what um i do know one of the first things we did i'll get this out of the way because that goes for a different story uh ebay was there so there was a line so I found the guy with an ebay shirt asked what it was for and they said well we're gonna give you a ticket, and then you can come back afternoon and redeem it, and you'll either get a comic, a Funko Pop, a trading card, which I knew um, they were doing because I, me and the boys, as if you watch the channel regularly, know we've been doing sports cards and stuff. So I know they've been doing stuff with uh, DJ Ski. Uh, they've even been doing it on their website, but at the conventions that they go to, they went to the national. Um, trading card show in Chicago and they had a special card there so I assume it, it's along the lines of how they did it here but 
anyway, long story short. So they said Funko card, um, a gift card, or a comic book. So the three of us go. We get our tickets. Because I'm a moron, I thought I lost it like no less than five times. So we had actually walked pretty much the entire floor, picked up some stuff. And we were going to get down to Artist Alley because we were all getting hungry. It was getting close to noon. And Artist Alley generally takes us a good hour. Well, on a full year, probably closer to two, two and a half hours. But uh, we, I said, well, let's go back to eBay and see what we get. See if we all get something different. So we get back there, lines pretty long, but moving right along. They were really, really good. They, they, they had their stuff together. So we get in line and it gets handed to us like this. So I get a Funko. I get this cool DJ, DJ Ski King Saladin, Saladin. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, and I apologize. It's uh, They're limited to 5,000, which, again, seems like a large number, but when you go to a show of that size, it's actually not. It, it's not that big. So, got that. And so we look at that. Pull, it, pull that. There was an eBay gift card underneath it. So I, I haven't used it yet, but I wanted to figure out how much it was for. $10 eBay gift card. Cool. You know, I mean, that's $10 of free money that they just gave me. And, I mean, this is the pop I ended up with. I, uh, I mean, I'm not interested in newer Star Wars. I'm not interested in, in the Pride Month stuff and... I mean, if you are, that's great. It's, it's. I mean, it's just honestly not my thing. And again, like I said earlier, it's not Dungeons & Dragons from Funko. So I'm not super interested in it. I mean, so it, it's a trader piece. I got a, there's a store around my area that takes Funkos and trades. So this will go there. But anyway, it's, it's free. Can't complain about it. That's awesome. It's a Funko shop exclusive. Um... My friend Jimmy, he got the Minnie Mouse Pride Month one. And then my brother ended up with the best one of all. Well, for us, the best one of all. Because it's something that he'll, he he likes, number one. And will is putting on display in his office, I believe, next to his Captain Caveman. But he got Inspector Gadget. And I think uh, the little... The Funko Shop, I think it was a Christmas one, because the Funko Shop exclusive was uh, red and green. So maybe it was, I, I know they do bundles at Christmas time, so it might have been one of those. Overstock, whatever. I mean, you want to give me free stuff? I mean, so let's figure a $10 pop, a $10 gift card, so there's 20 bucks, And then, you know, let's say nominally a $10 card. So that's thirty dollars. I paid seventy one dollars for a ticket. So I mean, you know, can't complain for getting minimum thirty dollars back in in free. It, let's call them gifts. And again, you know, card's cool. One of the boys will take it or something, or I'll trade it. Uh, the pop I ended up with uh, Jimmy's, so. I'll take those two and trade it for a figure or something, you know, so all is well, you know, so anyway, so there's a, so, you know, obviously if you've gone to a show, you carry a backpack or some sort of bag. I don't want to carry around a Funko Pop in my hand. So I said, guys, come on. We went over and what I thought was literally just an animation store. Uh, it was called Good Smile. So there was nobody over there on the side, so kneeled down, putting everything in my bag, and I stand up, and all of a sudden there's Dungeons and Dragons in front of me. I'm like, whoa, what? So this was the first thing I spotted. Now, that we we have seen a mimic, I think that there's a mimic 
it's either come out or came out from Funko, and Maxwell and I have been jonesing for it. So I like I gotta get us a mimic pin. That's fantastic. So then I look, and right next to it is this little boy. And if you play the game, you'll know this is a gelatinous cube. And it's eating everyone. But it's a dice carrier. You throw all your dice in there. And I said, oh my god. Because I always bring Max and Sam something back. Uh, I don't know if you can see the bottom there. But that's the Good, good Smile Connect. So if you want to get one, try that out. Good Smile Connect. I knew... Uh, I told Max stories of when I played back in the day. I was Dungeon Master. I'd always throw a gelatinous cube in to mess with people. Because, well, that's funny to me. And, uh... So, he loved it. I gave it to him today. He was... He was in love. Super happy with it. So, this next piece... Uh, my brother Daryl found, we were walking by, it's from Studio Deal, oh, of course it fell, Studio Deal Moore, Architects and Art, um, girl, uh, Elizabeth Deal Moore is the architect and artist, and they're all architectural drawings of famous comic sci-fi, she had um, the Hall of Justice, and I just picked up the Vintage Superpowers Hall of Justice, so I'm going to frame this up and put it behind it. Uh, my brother picked up the Castle Grey Skull, because he has a Castle Grey Skull, so he's going to frame it up and put it behind it on display. Uh, they had Cat's Lair, uh, Doctor Who's TARDIS. Um, they had, she, or she had uh, for uh, the DeLorean... Uh, Ghostbusters Firehouse, Fortress of Solitude, um, and she's like, yeah, as I think of them, I do them, so I, I suggested the Justice League Satellite, I should have suggested Titan's Tower, because uh, I would have bought that in a heartbeat too. It was 18 bucks for that size, she had bigger sizes too, these are just, you know, the prints, but, I mean, this... You know, and then you got the random characters in there. You got the Wonder Twins and Gleek. You got Aquaman down there. Uh, Batman and Robin. Just gorgeous. And on the He-Man, you know, you had He-Man and the Sorceress and Battle Cat. And I forget who else. But real nice. So if, uh, if you want to check her out, I'll give you the card again. You can pause it and check all of her stuff out. So I mostly go, again, because we got to take the train, we're going from basically up near Albany down to uh, New York, and then, you know, we walk around the city to see some other things. We go up to Midtown Comics, go up to Broadway to have uh, lunch. Sometimes we go up to the Nintendo store, and, you know, it, generally it's, it's, a, it's an involved walking day. So I don't haul a lot of stuff because... Whatever you haul, you got to carry. So, this is another piece of art. Art Balthazar does uh, Crayola sketches. Him and uh, Franco. So, again, check him out. He's awesome. Real nice guy. Uh, but my brother, Daryl. I'm just going to go with Daryl from now on. And uh, just assume that you know that he's my brother. For some reason, he was uh, checking Instagram while we were down there. And he posted, a Art Balthazar had posted a bunch of sketches, and he's like, and I had already bought the Chris Uminga Boba Fett, and he's like, we gotta go back down to Artist Alley, because you gotta buy the crayon one. Now, these were only five bucks. And uh, I'm like, yep, we gotta go back down. So we headed back down, Fett was already gone. But he had done a Yellow Daredevil, so my brother was gonna snag that. 
And he goes, I'm like, oh, man, I missed the fact. He goes, well, do you want me to draw you another one? I said, yeah. So he had a stack of these little cards that says Electric Milk on it. I don't know if that's his company or not. We talked to him. I mean, this probably took 10 minutes, and, and we were talking the entire time, but I, I didn't see the card, so I didn't ask what that was. But he had a huge, got to be a stack like that, so he must have been doing them all day. He was taking requests. He did a request for the gentleman in front of us. Honestly, he had a power man there, Luke Cage. I should have asked him to do a uh, Iron Fist also, and I just, I don't know. Sometimes I get weird asking artists to do things. I get, uh, I'm a weird dude anyway. It's socially awkward, so I, I didn't, I should have, I screwed up. But anyway, we ended up with the uh, Boba Fett, and my brother ended up with a yellow costume Daredevil. Great. So then, uh, my brother introduced me to Sean Gordon Murphy's art couple of years ago and I am not a big I kind of I was a used to be a big DC fan not so much anymore the new 52 is it's just not I'm an older gentleman it's just not for me I don't enjoy it I don't enjoy the reworking of the characters or however you want to put it but when I follow Murphy on Instagram and when he said oh, I'm gonna be working on Batman I said, you know what, even if the story's awful, he's writing and drawing it, at least the art's going to be gorgeous. So if you haven't read Batman White Knight or the follow-up with Asriel in it, the, the one I can't think of right now, go out and get them. They're in trade paperbacks. They're great. So, and also if you haven't read it, Harley Quinn and the Joker play a big part. So this is the B covers of Harley Quinn, the Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn. Again, another great story, interesting, and it's written by his wife. I'm going to, Katana Collins. Again, uh, you know, you can find these guys on Instagram. Unfortunately, I don't have a card, but I, I followed them anyway. So, and they're the Mateo Scott covers, but he unfortunately wasn't at his table, uh, but she was there. Lovely, lovely woman. Um, talked to her. I mean, I honestly probably could still be standing there talking to her. She was very chatty, um, very appreciative. Uh, I was telling her how much I enjoyed the style. You know, I pretty much just, I told her the stories that I just told you guys. Um and she was super appreciative and she, you know, asked if I had ever met Sean. And I'm like, you know, we've been coming here for years and I, I, I have a bunch of stuff. I have some prints and stuff autographed by him. I said, but I've never gotten to meet him. And I had a Captain America hat and a Captain America face mask on. And she's like, well, if you come back at, I think, it, let's say it was three o'clock. I will remember because you have the hat and the mask. She goes, and I'll get you to meet him. And unfortunately, we had left to go get lunch at that time and, and do a couple other things. And by the time we got back, they weren't there. But it was super nice of her. Whether she would have remembered me or not, who can say? But just the offer, great. Lovely woman. So this is all six issues. As you can see, it was... Uh, you know, no, you can't see that. Stop falling over. Uh, it was 40 bucks for six issues. And they're all signed by uh, Sean and Katana. So that was cool. And I think that's that's it for the art. I believe, yes. That was all the artwork I picked up. And again, it, was, it wasn't that there wasn't good art. It was just nothing else caught my eye. And there was no real... I mean, life, Rob Liefeld was there. I would have liked to have met him, but... I I just didn't want to stand in the line. So, didn't do that. But yeah, one of these years I'll catch him. He generally ends up there. So, um, so anyway. So, the last little bit I got for you. is a couple of more freebies. And some comics I picked up. And so, we'll start with... This was a $2 pickup. Usagi Yojimbo and the Ninja Turtles. I mean, it's an $8 cover. It's the B cover, which I don't believe I have. And for 2 bucks, I'll take a shot on that. 
All right, you're not going to stand, so you're going to lay down. Uh, this, I want to say, was in a three... I didn't pay more than five dollars for any of these comics. They were they, most of them, and I'll let you know which ones were two because I there was only three. But I picked up uh, Spider Man, uh, Amazing Spider Man one seventy five with the Punisher. I, uh, that was a for three bucks. I wasn't gonna pass up on that. I was kind of surprised it was still there. Uh, last issue of the Amazing Spider Girl. That was I know that one was came out of a three dollar bin. This one was five. It, it's I I don't know I could I couldn't pass up on the Fighting American featuring Speed Boy, um, Joe Simon and Jack Kirby. Uh, it's the Harvey. I don't know if this is reprints of the original or what it is. I haven't looked too much into it, but throwing five bucks at it, I'm in. Again, if you've uh, watched any of the past videos, you know I pick up uh, Stargirl, uh, All-Star Squadron, Just Society, if it's related to what's going on in the Stargirl TV, because Sammy enjoys the show, so I, uh, I, I get some stuff. And if you follow it, um, and if you don't, close your ears, spoiler alert, Eclipso is the villain, so I found, uh, I probably normally would have skipped this. I mean, it's nice condition five dollars but it's not something that oh i definitely need for my collection i would have grabbed probably something else but again five dollars silver age gotta love it and eclipso so i picked that up sammy and i he was excited to see that so we're gonna end up going through that and another house of secrets featuring eclipso and prince Raman or mind master yeah it's the mind master it makes you eat shitty ramen in uh, college because you can't afford anything else so I picked up those what else did I snag I've been putting together an adventure comics run with Legion of Superheroes it's just, just a random issue actually there was a lot I probably could have filled in most of it but um, I just I was getting bag was getting heavy and I didn't really want to carry anything else. Uh, original Blue Beetle. When I see this stuff at 3 to $5, I mean, even though it's rough, you don't see it that often. So I snagged that. This um, TV stars, Hanna-Barbera. I was going to give it to my brother because he loves this kind of stuff. Then I realized Space Ghost... And the Herculoids were in there. So, yep, that's going on my spinner rack, not his. Apparently, uh, the company Hot Flips, they, they're generally, they're more of a, they bring in artists. They're generally the ones who sponsor Rob Liefeld to come in. Um, but they had bought out a New Hampshire comic store that I'd never heard of, Larry's Comics. And they had... These were all, these were three bucks, but they had the variant Larry Comics. Um, this was the one where, you know, if you paid a certain amount to have a certain amount of the books printed, you could get. So I grabbed that issue when I see it. I just, uh, I just think the variants are cool. Oh, what was that? Oh, yeah, I can't show that. You don't need to see my train ticket. Uh, copy of King Spawn, number one. I'm not a Spawn guy, but that is a uh, fantastic McFarlane cover for three bucks. I thought that was cool. I've been seeing a lot of people in costume for this. I've I Apparently, I've come to find out it was a cartoon. And uh, apparently, this is the second series. But the more I saw the, the costumes all day for three bucks for a number one... I know that's a second print, but I'll check it out. Oh, I went to the Absolute Comic Group. They had a spinner wheel. I want a comic of I Make Boys Cry. I don't know, but free spinner wheel. I'm in. Uh, they had the second print of 55, and I just love that cover. And for three bucks, I snagged another copy. Um, 
This is going to my brother. This was a $5 issue, but I'd never seen it. And he's him and Max are huge Scotty Young fans. So I picked that up for, for one of them. Another $5. I mean, if you've ever listened to me ramble on Teen Titans, that was my jam. So Teen Titans 4 for $5. I'm in. And the last book I actually paid for is the third appearance of The Rocketeer. I know these had spiked up. Uh, I don't remember why, if they're talking about a new Disney Plus series or a movie or whatever. But I am a Rocketeer fan. I, I like the the movie from the 90s. So I thought that was five bucks well worth, well, well spent. And weirdly, NASA was at uh, Comic-Con. And, uh, what do you call it? And they gave out First Woman, NASA's Promise for Humanity, Issue 1. So, um, I can't think of her name. I, I've seen her on the week, on the news all week. But they gave this out. It's a pretty thick, uh, thick comic. I'm, uh, actually pretty excited to read it. It's, uh, you know, not for, for, for sale, for general use. Actually, when I showed the boys, uh, they want to check it out, too. So that was pretty cool. And everybody at the booth was real friendly, uh, real talkative, uh, talking all about, you know, science, tech, you know, their STEM science, technology, and whatever. My brother and uh, Jimmy, one works at a high school, one works at a college. And uh, they told me yesterday, but if you think I can remember... You're out of your mind. But, uh, so that was pretty cool. Very nice people. Actually, I got, uh, this is, uh, one of the new supersonic jets. I had to pick it up. I had to pick up this one. This picture. Uh, low boom, low boom fight demonstration. Because they had another of an electric airplane. But the name of the plane was the Maxwell. So, obviously, he had to get a picture of the plane. So, I brought that home for him. And now he believes that they named the uh, plane after him. So, you know, there's that. And they also, they had an Artemis. An old school NASA sticker. So, I snagged those. Because old school NASA. I don't know what I'm going to do with stickers or where I'm going to put them. But free oh and uh one last thing tops trade wall i put a old school empire strikes back card on and i grabbed the i don't know if that's a refractor or not now that i look at it but i got the uh cool princess leia card nope that, oh no it is a refractor nice i didn't even realize that till right this second very cool so all right guys uh, actually, one last thing, I did get the MetaZoo promo card, I just don't know where, don't know what bag I'd put it in, uh, so, unfortunately, I can't show you that, but, um, they were there, but not selling, pa I, I don't know, it was a whole thing, but I got promo cards from MetaZoo, I'd really like to see the cards, but apparently, you're not allowed to buy them from the company or some such nonsense. I don't even know anymore. But anyway, since this is getting to be a half an hour long, plus whatever the uh, other one was, so maybe I'll break this down into two videos. But anyway, you know the deal, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Any, It doesn't matter if you enjoyed it or not. You spent some time with me, listening to me ramble on, and I appreciate that. Uh, if you If you do enjoy the videos... Leave a like or subscribe. It lets me know uh, what you want to see more of. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you were there, if you skipped this year, if you're going to go next year, um, if there's any other cons around you that you plan on going to. If you're going to head out to Boston, or if you've ever been to Boston, let me know how it is. I think I want to try that one. I just found out that one's, uh, they have one in January. So uh, if the weather's not too bad, uh, maybe I'll go out and catch that. But... Anyway, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you, and as always, have a great day.